Hey everyone, so before this video gets started, I wanted to tell you all about an exciting new opportunity to make money right here on YouTube, okay? If you want to learn how I created a faceless YouTube channel and started making tens of thousands of dollars per month, I invite you to join my community down below. There's really no experience to get started. You don't need to have a big following and of course, you don't need to show your face. And really anybody can do it. it, just takes a little bit of time and effort at the beginning to get started. But don't worry, I walk you through it. So click my link below to start and learn how to create your own faceless YouTube channel. And right now you can get a free trial to join, but it's only available for the first 100 people. And you, we have a group chat as well that you can join. So I'll leave a link down below. Otherwise, let's get started with the video. How much do Uber drivers make? Shout out to the rideshare guy for this one. I read this. Yeah. Okay. So this is the pay and salary for 2024 for Uber drivers. Let's see if they make more than 20 bucks an hour or else if they don't maybe go and consider working for McDonald's. Okay. So how much does Uber pay? In our experience, you can earn up to $50. Oh! That's, no. Damn, the ride share guy is, I mean, I guess they, I mean, I, they, they do like legit surveys though. I mean, yeah, that's like, yeah, they're saying that some drivers make that. Okay, I mean, yeah, because this is saying, this is depending on your location and strategy. So those are two really important factors. Again, obviously, if you're doing Uber Black in Miami, you're probably, you know, making 50 an hour, but. Yeah, if you live in like, like Yakima, Washington or something. Then it's probably don't... gonna be more like this, 15 and 25, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, it's talking about taking advantage of Uber drivers or Uber's driving promotions. Yeah. Let's, let's read some of these guys. Tayshawn Price. Yeah, Tayshawn said, I drive full time and I average about $25 an hour. Ed Booth says, part-time weekend driver here. Five years experience in the Boston market. I've been tracking on spreadsheets since the beginning of the year, and my current average for the whole year is forty two twenty four an hour. He's definitely doing Uber XL or Uber Black. There's no way he's doing that Uber yeah, X. Boston is very busy. It's a like a, it's a big city. Yeah, that's true. Do you think he could do that just doing Uber X only? Um. In Boston. I mean, well, this would include like tips and everything. So. Yeah. But remember, guys, this is before expenses. This is not your profit. This is your revenue. Uber has new guaranteed earnings? Oh, just at the beginning. So here we go. I'll read this. This is the minimum fare. This this is uh, different for every city, but this is just an example. Okay, this is, this is the cost to the passenger. Okay? Yeah, so the driver doesn't get this, but this is what the passenger will pay. Yeah, so the minimum fare is six fifty. Um, okay, it'll be eight forty if it's thirty minutes times twenty eight cents per minute. Seven twelve is eight eight point nine miles times eighty cents a mile. I don't even understand what this means. So this is what the driver gets paid: twenty four minus four point one four, twenty five percent Uber commission. Drivers net pay for the ride five bucks. No, 20 bucks minus no, five 15, bucks. 15, 15, 28. Oh, 15, 28. Sorry, guys. I was not good at school. This is too many numbers for me. What about surge? 20 bucks an hour times two. Do they even have surge anymore? Um, I don't know. You know, I haven't taken Uber in a really long time. Yeah, I only do Lyft. A full-time driver in L.A., found that look at this they built a model full-time driver in los angeles and found the average full-time driver will earn just under forty two thousand dollars a year gross gross earnings that's that means revenue that's before expenses that's terrible so keep in mind guys like 30k you can go less than that with expenses and depre car depreciation everything mileage kids keep in mind now what the irs guys the IRS standard uh, mileage deduction. Wow. 
IRS standard mileage deduction 2024, 67 cents per mile. That's what the IRS estimated. That's, that's what it costs you to drive your car for work. So if you're putting on 100,000 miles a year on your car times 0.64, oh no, 67, right? There, the IRS is saying it's costing you around $67,000 to, you know, operate your car. So you got to be making like more than that at least to make profit. Yeah. So it's like you might as well, because what did I say? What did what did they say? 20, um, 40, 42,000. So that's before expenses. But now if you're in California and you go make go work at fast food and make 20 bucks an hour. What is 20 times 40? 800 bucks a week times 52. It's basically the same thing. But if you work at McDonald's, you don't get, you don't have to pay any expenses. So this is yeah, all. Yeah, so it's like that's your total like earnings, earnings. And then. Um, yeah. Don't you get like bonuses or like benefits or something? Or... Oh, at McDonald's? Yeah, like yeah, you get, yeah, you probably get health benefits and stuff and you know, you're you got like protections at least for your job. You can't get deactivated or fired for zero reason like uh, yeah. There's you have a, a guaranteed wage and stuff and I don't know, now you're part of you know, you're an employee now for the Yeah, you get payroll and all that all that stuff. 